Hello everyone, I'm Lehman with MI Windows and Doors, and welcome to another installment of Windows 101. Keeping your windows properly cleaned and maintained can greatly prolong the life of your window. However, doing routine maintenance and any minor repairs can be harder than it needs to be if you're unfamiliar with the proper parts and placement. So in today's video, I'm going to try and clear up any confusion you may have by reviewing the anatomy of a window. Like most things in this world, some parts may have different names depending on who you ask. In this video, we are going to go through the proper names as specified by our MI Windows and Doors Engineering Department. Starting at the top, you have the head, the two sides are called jams, and at the bottom you have your sill. These four parts make up the frame of the window. If the glass is stationary, then it is referred to as top glass. The sliding glass panel is commonly called the sash. If the window has a single bottom sash that moves up and down and a fixed top glass panel, then it is a single hung window. If the window has two vertical movable sashes, it is a double hung. The glass in our top glass panels is removable. It is held in place by glazing beads. You can remove the glass by carefully popping the glazing beads off with a small pry bar. Depending on the series would dictate if the glazing bead is removed from the interior or exterior of the window. Between the glass in many of our windows we offer grids or sometimes referred to as GBGs. Here at MI we offer multiple styles and patterns of grids to meet the current design trends. Additionally we offer SDL or simulated divided light. These grids are applied to the exterior and interior of the glass with a GBG shadow bar in between the panes of glass. SDLs offer a beautiful appearance commonly found in historic districts where they are trying to replicate the look of the existing windows. A recent offering is the 2 inch wide simulated meeting rail commonly utilized on casement and picture windows. This U shaped channel where the sashes come together is called the interlock. The interlock is what helps seal the window close. The keepers, which is where the lock cam sweeps into and locks into place, is located on the interlock. On select double hung models, there are balanced channel covers on the jams. They add a one piece clean aesthetic look. Night latches, which are standard on select models, are a great security feature that prevents the window from opening more than a few inches to give you the ability to ventilate while at the same time giving you peace of mind. At the top of the sash we have a lift rail, which varies between models. That allows homeowners to lower their sash when ventilating or tilting in for easy cleaning. There is also a lift rail on the bottom sash that does the same thing. The tilt latch allows for tilting the sash inward for easy cleaning. On the bottom sash of the single hung or double hung, you will find the locks. Depending on your window model, the locks can be recessed or surface mounted. All locks are opposing in direction for a uniform seal in the center. On the horizontal sliders, the locks are on the active panels. Inside the jams of the window, you can see the inverted coil balance which allows the sash to travel up and down. The coils are stainless steel to resist corrosion and encased in a plastic box to protect against dust and debris. The sash attaches to the balance shoe by these pivot bars. To remove the sash from the coil balances, raise the sash a few inches, pull on the tilt latches, and tilt inward. Drop it down and lightly twist until one of the pivot bars is released from the balance. With both sashes out, you can see our patent pending detent clips, which is only on our double hung models. These are designed to keep your top sash in place and reduce any drifting. The detent clips provides peace of mind that your top sash is in the proper position and your locks will lock properly. On the double hung windows, we offer a sash stop, shown here. These will limit the balance coil from overextending and the top sash from traveling all the way to the sill. Finally, Helping to seal the sashes in, we have bulb seal, weather stripping, and wool pile pads. Knowing the parts of your window will help you repair and maintain it, maximizing its lifespan and value. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and until next time, I'll see you on the other side of the glass. 